Okay, we know you're supposed to get the recommended eight hours of sleep. You weren't successful with that. Looks like you only got five because you did stay up late playing Call of Duty trying to get that one good match before bed, which you weren't successful at either. How do you think work is going to go for you today? Yo, Rogan, how did you get a... Man. 20... Whew. Don't you have something better to do? 25 reps at 135, definitely not an easy feat to accomplish, but your max at one point, however, was 285. To the people who say you're taking it too easy and that you've fallen off, you say what? <laughs> okay, you're fresh out the shower, we heard the sounds, we know what you did, we know what you were doing in there. You made it to 26 days and we couldn't finish out strong at the end of the month. You just failed no nut November. How are you feeling about your performance? How did you get it? Has no one taught you about privacy? No, I do not. Have you never seen me give an interview? Man. Bro, for real. All right, now we know you've prided yourself in your swimming ability and over the past summers we've heard you brag about being able to hold your breath about a minute and a half. Looks like you came up after about 45 seconds. Not your best performance. How are you feeling about yourself right now? Tough competition out there. Looks like you did the best you could. You did get played the game. However, you are last on the leaderboard. Your team seems pretty pissed. What do you think about all that? To be honest, I think it was some tactical insurgents. I just, I kept putting them out. They kept finding my spawn point and they was just tagging me every time I loaded into the game. Wait, why am I talking to you? All right, let's put the headset on, see what the team is saying. Uh-huh. Yeah, they are all in agreement on calling you the F word repeatedly. Leaving was probably your best option. Nah, I appreciate you coming over though. Uh, text me, you get home safe. All right. Seriously. Big night for you tonight. Been prepping for this one for a long time. Months of sending all those risque texts and other things. All finally came together for this one big moment. Hard fought competition and now your year long dry spell is officially over. But you did promise that girl a whole night and I can't help but notice you did call her an Uber after tapping out 30 seconds into round one. Wanna tell us a little bit more about that? Get the f out of my house, Joe Rogan. Remember, all I'm offering Best is the beats, baby. Hi, uh, forever editing and post here. Just got out the pool, and the next part I need to film is in the garage, but as you can hear, my dad is down there doing his thing. So I figured I'd take this gap period to just kind of throw a little filler in there. Some of y'all know, a few years ago I did a video about uh, me reading Riza Islam's book, which I kind of forgot I did until he brought it up. But he actually was in town recently and invited me to his signing, slash him reading a few excerpts, so... Here's how that went. Also, for anyone that's curious on seeing like just that, I'll probably clip those two little pieces together and just re-upload it in shorts as well. But for now, let's let me just show you all the footage. Tell me. I can still buy a shirt. You the jeans, no heat, bro. You got one of the old ones. What's up? Yeah, yeah, I got your Gen One edition. Yeah, no, you did get a Gen One. We need to upgrade you on that one, but that is this dude is the anime guru. And what name would you like me to put in there? Um, Dealer's Choice. Dealer's Choice. So, I made you can actually write what you wanted. <laughs> man, look, come on. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I got to now. Man. Nah, this is dope, though, man. We got to get check this out. I always push motivation of this boy. Motivation of You should be on. First of all, I love my brother. I'm trying to say that. <laughs> like, seriously. Y'all be laughing, saying whatever. Anime is a way of life. That's why they have a lot of morals in them. You know, things that we're missing in American cartoons. Mm -hmm. So my brother here, very intelligent, very wise brother. Don't trip on him being goofy. <laughs> I'm goofy too. But he knows some things. I study him, I watch him. And he studies me, watches me too. But we brothers. I told him we're going to talk about anime. We're going to have that conversation. But so, I wanted to say this to y'all so y'all know, this is a cool brother, man. I love this brother. He ain't no joke. I'm honored to meet you. Got to be thankful for his family. Y'all for real, take care of it.